Hey, hey, good morning. I'm meteorologist Karen Williams and in your weather headlines we have dense fog early that's down to our southeast. For the most part here in the immediate area, we just have overcast conditions. Now, we'll remain dry in the morning, but those showers will arrive by afternoon and we will have rainy, windy conditions by late tonight. I'll have your full forecast coming up as the Delta News Morning starts now. It works for you. This is the Delta News Morning. Good morning, Bryce, and happy Friday to you, too. Outside our station right now, we have overcast conditions outside, and it is feeling pretty mild out there. But be sure to grab an umbrella because the rain will be on the way this afternoon. Your full forecast after the break. Welcome back and we have a dense fog advisory that's down to our extreme south and for the most part our immediate area we're just covered with overcast conditions. There are a few showers that are off to extreme west out in parts of northwest Arkansas but that is a leading edge that will be here later this afternoon to give us some showers. Now looking at your out the door forecast it's going to be dry with mostly cloudy conditions outside 49 degrees by noon 68 degrees you definitely want to take your umbrella with you because we expect by this afternoon around 5 p.m. It should be raining for most of the area, 65 degrees. Right now, Greenwood, good morning, 42 degrees, humidity 92% and that dew point at 40 degrees. Greenville, how you doing? 45 degrees, the humidity 90% and that dew point at 42 degrees. Now, as we advance a little bit further here, we're high temperatures. We're looking at the upper 60s to low 70s, mainly to the south. We're looking at Batesville, 68 degrees, Cleveland, 69, Indianola, 71, as well as Yazoo City, and Lake Province at 69 degrees. Now, our high temperatures for tonight, the lows actually, will be in the low to mid 50s in most most areas. Yazoo City 56, Indianola 53, Cleveland 64, and Clarksdale 52 degrees. High temperatures for your Saturday will be in the low 60s with Cleveland at 60, Chula at 65, Kosciuszko at 65, and Grenada at 63 degrees. Now looking at the temperature fronts model here, you can see this is a leading edge. This is the front that's going to be moving into our area ahead of it because we already have warm air that's already in place and that's coming up from the Gulf and meeting up with this line here. It's going to spark some showers. Now they tend to going to, to be moderate in nature, but some of you, mainly to the south, may hear one or two rumbles of thunder, but nothing on the severe level. And that's going to move in and move out and then we'll be dry for one day and then eventually another system will move in. High temperatures yesterday were definitely atypical with pretty much for Greenville 75 degrees and then Tulsa was at 75 degrees. But notice that dark blue area. That's where you're having that sharp difference in air mass here and that's what's going to move in and that's what's going to make mainly feel like reality is going to set in. Now the week ahead we're looking at showers and again we're looking at showers for today and then it'll be dry and then by Sunday we'll have another little system to move in. We'll be dry Monday and then another system will move in by Tuesday. Now for today mostly cloudy windy with afternoon showers 69 degrees and then tonight rain and windy 53 degrees and then for tomorrow sunny skies windy 62 degrees. Bryce we're looking at our seven day and we're going to have a break on Saturday and then another line will move through 55 degrees, another break and then another wave again. But notice you will have to pull out your winter coat. Oh, definitely 
It's definitely going to be a change of pace, uh, especially from yesterday and today to Monday. Reality. Definitely. It's going to hit you, so make sure you have that coat, scarf, whatever you need, because I know I'll be bundled up for sure, especially getting here and pretty late at <laughs> night, so we're pretty early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Hat and gloves. But switching gear.